Hello, so this video is to show that we can use any version of TensorFlow inside of Amazon SageMaker. So I have created this test instance um, MLT2 Medium uh, notebook in Amazon SageMaker. You can see it's running, it's in service, and I can open Jupyter. Jupyter is a Python application that allows you to run what's called um, notebooks. You can create a new one here with any environment, for example, one that has TensorFlow with Python 3.6 automatically or Python 2.7. I've created a few already. I've created this simple check TensorFlow version. You can see these icons are gray because they're not running, but as soon as I open this one, um, you can see that uh, the one that I just run is, is basically running, right? So this is a, a cell, it had some um, output because it had been executed before um, by pressing um, escape and then R and then Y, I can remove the input and then I can click run. So this code executes and it tells me that the TensorFlow version that is currently running here is 1.13.1. If I go to this one, which I've done to install TensorFlow, uh, you can see how this uh, exclamation mark, uh, what it will do is that it will execute this command outside. Like if you were executing that not on the notebook, but in a command line interface of this environment. Um, what I want to do is run the import TensorFlow and then the TensorFlow version. And you can see that we have 113 still. So uh, what I can do is I can run this cell that it will run as if you had run this command in the command line and you can see it's collecting the tensorflow 2.0.0 alpha 0 and it's installing all of its dependencies right once it um, uninstalls 1.13 and then it installs uh, 2.0 we can do the same that we did before we can run this too um, and hopefully we'll see uh, you see, this, this is something really weird that I've seen before. So I'm, for some reason, sometimes even though I just installed it, it won't uh, change it. And I'm not sure if it's because this instance is using the Python version. That let's try shutting them down. Let's open. So let's try to run this again. You see now the actual version that we wanted to use 2.0 is the one installed. Uh, for some reason, it might be that, you know, I had imported um, 1.13 before in this notebook instance when it was running. So we already had TensorFlow loaded. If I were to, let's try to, to verify that's true. So. If we go to 1.13 here, you see I can click on run and it will try to run that one. And we're gonna try to, to get the version number afterwards. So it's uninstalling 2.0 now. And you can see that it will install 1.13. And I'm pretty sure that, okay, so now it's worked uh, directly. And, and this is because we hadn't imported TensorFlow in this notebook before running the install command. So let's do that once again. If I, well, this, this is open already. So yeah, I mean, basically you have to install TensorFlow in the notebook before you run the import TensorFlow command. If you do it afterwards, you have to shut down and then restart your notebook. Right, so that was it. I think we can run the examples of TensorFlow 2.0 inside of SageMaker. 